Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Time to make the donuts. Oh yeah. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, I'm out here at 5 o'clock, yeah. I'm out here now. I'm out here now. Time to make the donuts. Better late than never. I know. I, I gotta. I gotta give you a partial refund. Uh, I'll give everyone a free pack of popcorn. Who, whoever uh, comes to the late show gets a free pack of popcorn. He's going to shoot up. He'll be back. <coughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Got to warm that baby up. Oh, yeah. that She's talking right about now. Oh, yeah. Right about now, she's talking. Oh, yeah. You know what it is. Enforcer 250. And the party has just begun. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah, a whole lot of noise. I hear a whole lot of bees in my radio. I hear a whole lot of bees buzzing. What the hell's going on out here? Lord have mercy. Oh no, no bridge talkers. No, 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 no bridge talking today, man. You gotta be, uh, you gotta be like Cracky says, below sea level. It's a 12 foot 1 inch. You can't be taller than that. 12 foot 1 inch. <coughs> 12 foot 1 inch. That's it. That's maximum clearance. Where's all the tough guys today, man? It's Tough Guy Friday. Where, where, or is it TGIF? What is it? Where's all the tough guys today? Where's all of my uh, microphone gangsters today? Shame on it. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, there, Mr. Crazy Eddie. Good morning, brother. Doing more with less. Look, 1.5 watts. 1.5 watts, doing more with less. Shame on it. How's he do it? <coughs> Man, that Midtown Tunnel recording is taking out a lot of mud ducks out here. Shame on it. Seems like that, that signal is getting stronger and stronger by the day. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, and I'm not even done, I'm not even done with that 305, man, I got a couple of more upgrades to do, got that baby talking, baby, it's talking. Watch is all I got, 55 is all I need. That's it, man, that baby's talking, man, don't need no Ameritron, don't need none of that, just my sweet talking radio amplifier, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that, baby. Look at that. Done the boat. 305. Vintage. Vintage. Classic, baby. <coughs> Crush, you don't hear Cracky right about now. You better tell Crackhead127, you better go get him, go to the goodie store. Or well, as a matter of fact, he needs to go to Sam. He needs to go to Delta. Talk to Sam. Maybe Sam will hook him up with an amp. Didn't that junkie say he was going out back like five minutes ago? Pay attention. Crackhead said he's going to the back like five minutes ago. Pay attention. Uh, 
remember those words. I will make 19 great again. I guarantee. <coughs> oh yeah, remember that. I will make this channel great again. And those are not the words of Donald J. Those are words of uh, Enforcer. 250. I hear a, a, a crybaby out there saying about 55 watts. It's funny, he made a video yesterday, and that's all he was doing is ghost talking because uh, no one could hear him. <laughs> that was a funny gate. <coughs> hey, 314, good morning, brother. Well, you know. People can't get pissed off. They could get pissed on. I don't know get about getting pissed off. You know how it is out here at 314. You can't cry, man. You either got it or you don't, man. You can't go to a gunfight. You can't go to a gunfight, 314, with a pocket knife, man. You know, it gets rough out here. When you, you try to be a star on my show, you got to tell these boys. They got to come prepared. You know, you got that, that boy out there, Pedro, man. He, he, he's not prepared. He's not prepared to hang with the big boys, man, especially Friday. You want to be in a TGIF show, you got to be fully prepared with both sidearms ready to blare. <coughs> but I tell you, 314, you're sounding good, man. Yesterday, I don't know where you were, man, but you were like... Damn, it sounded like you were right outside, man. You, that was the best signal I had you yet, man. You were blasting. Well, you're sounding good today, too, but I think you said you were two blocks away from where you're normally at. You definitely ki killing it yesterday, uh, 314. Raw Jedi, what do you hear, 314, when I key up? What do you hear? Do I clean out your radio? I know you don't hear anything else, 314, when I key this mic. Uh, yo. Yeah, you better tell Richie. Richie, you uh, better go to the goodie store, man. I'm trying to get Richie to go to Delta Electronics, man. He talked to, uh, talk to Sam. Sam will hook him up with a nice amp. He's got to get rid of that Ameritron. It's not working for him. Okay. <coughs> uh, I bought a radio check, yeah. Working, working. Radio's working there. Yeah. Right, RFX, those those modules are garbage, man. Don't even waste your time with those RFX modules. The 75 is six, right? I seen so many of those modules go bad. They're not even worth it. Forget about the CB shop. There ain't no CB shop out here. You only got Delta and you got PM Electronics. Those are the two spots you want to go to. Yeah, those those modules are garbage there. A314. I've I know many people. I shouldn't say many. I know a few people that had those modules and they go bad. Those uh, MOSFETs and those. Uh, in those particular modules. If they're not set up correctly, they, they burn out quick. Yeah, they're not, Eddie, they're not reliable, man. I actually had one myself. I had to replace the uh, the MOSFET and the radio that I had. And I said, never again, man. Listen, you're going to get high power. You might as well get a high power radio, man. You know what I'm saying? Or get yourself a, a forward radio with a little uh, a little something afterwards. But uh, those RFX units, I've uh, seen people having bad, bad uh, luck with them. Uh, uh, 
Vostok 29, set at 2 watts, with a RF Italy KL203 behind it. About 120, 130 watts, man, you can't beat that. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, that's all you need, man. You know, once you start putting those add-ons, man, you're looking for problems. <coughs> now, look at me. I'm just using this Galaxy, man. It's a Star Galaxy DX2547. That's all. This damn thing is uh, dead keen about 1.5 watts, man. One and a half watts. That's it, man. You know, that's all I need. 1.5 watts, man. That's all I need. 1.5 watts. One and a half. See, this 1.5 watts crushes the crackhead from Brooklyn. The Brooklyn uh, hole in the floor. What does he call it? A Brooklyn hole in the floor? What does that junkie call it? That big old Ameritron AL80B is no match for this 1.5 watt radio. Oh, yesterday was funny at 31. Everyone was clowning them. <laughs> everybody. Even hot sauce. Everybody. We were all clowning that boy. <coughs> we ain't even Brooklyn Bird out there having fun with us. Then he claims he was sleeping. You know he wasn't sleeping. Well, since when you hear the crackhead sleeping, he's got that radio on 24-7. He doesn't want to miss a tone. Not a tune. He doesn't want to miss a word out there. He's always monitoring. <coughs> that was funny. That's that's uh, Brooklyn Bird. He was out there with us. Hey, 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 Richard, man. The man's got a good sound station now. He's got that little RM amplifier. How do I know all about that, Richard? <laughs> you already know. What you say? The transmitting side. It sounds okay, Mister. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. Listen to that, listen to that high fidelity, man. Non-distorted, crisp, high fidelity, low IM distortion. You, you gotta love it, man. That's one thing I love with those sweep tubes. You gotta love it. Clean, clean sounding. These are the stock tubes, man. These are the stock duck pluckers in here. Wait till I put in my uh, heavy duty versions. Yeah, I'm not going to bother using those until I need them, you know. It doesn't make sense wasting a pair of tubes. Actually, uh, a set of tubes, I should say. Let me correct that. I don't want no uh, no feedback that I said a pair. You know what I mean? So I got to be careful every word I say. Well, you know, you know the problem, 314, why Richie gives poor radio checks, inaccurate radio checks? Because he used the little tiny one-inch speaker in his radio. You can't give audio checks. You can't give radio checks with a little tiny speaker in your radio. Of course I distort him. I, I'm blowing up his radio. That's why I'm, over, I'm overwhelming it. I'm overloading his radio. So, of course, I'm going to sound distorted to him. You know, we all know better than that. That's why that, that uh, what is that, Cobra 29, you notice he doesn't put the, uh, he doesn't put the camera on the S meter because that meter is blown on it. Just pay attention. Toilet brush. <coughs> you got toilet brush up here in New Hampshire. Oh, you can't see nothing in his videos. He's uh, keeping some light on. I can't see nothing. Well, that's what they usually do when they don't want you to know their location, like uh, 206, he, he, you see a blank video. He'll never reveal his location because he's running. He doesn't want to re reveal where he's at at any given time. And the same thing with Junkie Boy, 127. He'll never show the meter, the S meter, because the meter's burnt out on that Cobra 29 that he's uh, supposedly working on for someone. So, you know, it's uh, you just got to pay attention. It's all clear. It's all clear right there. The evidence is put forward. That's why they call me the enforcer of truth and justice, the American way. The only way not to do it. And then he then he wants to take credit. Then he wants to take credit for my channel that I put up for my show. He says the owner. He's not the owner of anything, man. He doesn't own the Enforcer's show. Come on. You know you should know better than that, Cracky. Isn't that you're infringing on the trademark here, man? This is patented. This is a five star show. Shame on you. <coughs> That's why 
He's trying to infringe on my patented show, man. This is a five-star show. He's trying to infringe on my show, 314. That boy's trying to take credit for my morning show. Once it hit five star, he's like, damn it, boy. Yeah, I created a monster. I give him credit for trying, though. Hey, yeah, 314, I give him credit for trying to have a morning show. But he's got to be careful. Vision Zero, there's a new, um, actually, there's something that's been put on the books. Vision Zero, where uh, if you have one of those electric bikes, electric scooters, that hit 20 miles an hour, a speed of 20, which uh, Richie displayed that clearly, that bike can and will be confiscated, and you will receive a $5,000 fine. So, Richard, be careful on that bike. <coughs> Hey, it's it's in the book. Say, hey, look it up. Vision Zero, uh, Eddie. I'm not making this up. It was in yesterday's uh, Am New York free paper. Um, the problem is there was uh, people that were getting pulled over, and fined and confiscated. Had their bikes confiscated. Were uh, minorities, Mexicans and uh, Hispanic workers. You know, guys just trying to make a living. And then you got a junkie like One Two Seven that they don't touch him. You're like, you're wondering why. But then we all know now he's an informant. That's why the cops don't uh, confiscate his bikes. But, you know, if I was there at McDonald's, I'd just call one of those officers over, show my credentials, and say, uh, confiscate that bike, man. That thing does over 20 miles an hour. And they would say, yes, sir. They will comply. It, it applied to any e-bike. They call them e-bikes, electric bikes. And that's what Richie has. He has an electric bike slash scooter. And those bikes are illegal in the streets of New York City. If you don't believe me, you could Google it. It is a law. It's called Vision Zero. That was implemented by our mayor. And they can. They don't enforce it. There's laws that they don't enforce. That don't mean it's not a law that exists. It's called Vision Zero. And if you caught on one of those e-bikes that... Uh, that can reach 20 miles an hour or greater, you are, you are in uh, risk of having it confiscated. Deport, they might deport you if you're legal and get hit with a $5,000 fine. So, In Cracky's case, he's clear from those, uh, those laws because he's a snitch. He's, uh, what do they call him? One of those uh, guys that like to uh, rat on their fellow uh, um, vagrants, like uh, that poor guy over there that he ratted on. What do they call him? In, his, in one of his video gates, McNightmares, the Teflon Don. That poor guy was doing nothing but mind his business. And Richie's there recording the guy, man. And then uh, he told Richie, what are you doing, man? You're snitching. Yeah, dog, but, you know, I got four badges. I can do it. I was like, wow, look at that. Ratting the guy out, man. Look at his McNightmare gate, man. Ratting his fa fellow vagrant out that uh, solicits in front of McDonald's at, at Utica Avenue. I'm like, damn it, boy. It doesn't get worse than that. I don't know how he does it, man. But then again, I can't, I cannot understand a man like Richard because he's a, you know, delusional, psychotic individual, and he's comatose every morning. That he wakes up, he's, uh, he has to consume himself with drugs. Just uh, pay attention, man. As soon as he uh, wakes up, he's got to light up, light up, shoot up. You know, it's, it's a shame, man. You know, you know, the, the biggest shame is our tax dollar is paying for his uh, addiction. And for the fact that he's a lazy boy. He just wants to sleep all day and get high, man. But those days are going to come to an end soon. Because uh, that good president, Donald J. Trump, is going to put an end to it. Sooner or later, cracky boy, junkie boy is going to have to go and get a J-O-B. Hey, we all know. He don't want to do that. You imagine cracky actually going to a 9 to 5 or an 8 to 4 job? I, I can't picture that, man. That boy is 50 years old, and he still hasn't gotten a job. So you know by now, he's not going to go get one.
Well, if you got him stuff, I tell you, 314, if someone got him like a hot dog cart or something or a donut cart, you know, then he could be productive out here and help out the drivers, you know, give out free donuts and coffee in the morning. And then I could say, all right, he's doing something for the community, for the local truck drivers. But he's not doing anything but being a nuisance. You know what I mean? 314. At least uh, if he was productive, I wouldn't have any criticism towards him. I would say, you know what, at least he's trying. That's why you see these old people, these old folks, you know, rip, you know going into the uh, recycling bags and collecting cans and bottles. I have a lot of respect for them because at least they're out there busting their ass in the morning. They're, they're hustling, man. Can't, you know, those nickels add up, you know. And the only way, uh, you know, crack he's able to afford where he's living is Section 8. Section 8 in those entitlements that he's getting. And then he supplements his drug addiction with uh, soliciting in front of McDonald's. It's sad. <coughs> Uh-oh, there goes the music. Yeah, for those who need the weather, it's 32 degrees as we speak. Relative humidity is 49%. Winds at the, uh, I would say, northwest at around 4 or 5 miles an hour. Barometric pressure at 30.22 inches and steady. Uh, All <laughs> well, I know, Cracky better wear two, uh, two or three uh, hoodies today. Oh yeah, good morning there, Johnny Rapper Troll. Good morning, brother. <coughs> oh yeah, you're rolling right over the noise. Hey, uh, hey, uh, Johnny Rapper Troll, you're running, you're rolling all over the noise out there. <coughs> Just me and my little Thunderbolt 305 and my stock. Barefoot 1.5 watt radio, and I just got down. You gotta love it, man. You can't make this up. Don't forget Vision Zero, Cracky. Don't get caught with the, on that scooter. Don't get caught in that scooter, it's illegal in New York City streets. You just wasted 1800 bucks. I try to warn him, man. He, sh he would have been better off getting himself a pair of dentures than buying that scooter for 1800 man. It's against the law, just look at the law. Vision Zero, it's called. Mr. de Blasio, the mayor implemented that about a few years ago about a year ago I would say and uh, vision zero zero tolerance oh yeah cracky yeah uh, that's why you don't see him making too many of those videos on his electric scooter yeah okay 31 miles an hour and uh, and my name is Joe Blow You couldn't do 31 miles an hour on that if you were uh, <laughs> riding down a mountain. Look at that, 31 miles an hour. This boy, he must have just got, uh, he must have just lit up or shot up, one or the other. Now he's saying that his electric bike does 31 miles an hour. That cracky, man. He's got to stop smoking that K2. It's making him more and more delusional. Where's Pedro, man? I, I I got a hell of a noise level. I don't even hear Pedro. He's not even making my noise level today. Anyone hear Pedro? 
Damn, even that MTA recording's taking out these boys. I don't know, man. I think Pedro blew his amp out of something. He's got to go to the goodie store. I notice he's not holding hands with Cracky today. He's ghost talking. Listen to him. Listen to Pedro. Good morning, Johnny. Hey, Johnny, rap. 305, man. That's all I got to say. Thunderbolt 305. That's it, man. Thunderbolt 305. That's all you got to know. 305. I got to play that number. I think that's a good luck. I think that number is going to be good luck today. 305. I got to play that. <coughs> what do you think, Johnny? 305, you think I should play that number today? Oh, no, man. I only got seven watts. Seven watts. What do you think? 305, you think that's a good number? So every week is for number. <laughs> I'm going to play a dollar straight, dollar box, man. Maybe I'll hit 305. I'm going to play that number today. Believe it or not, Cracky's number came out a few times, 127, but uh, you know, I, don't, I don't play that number. I should have, but I don't. Yeah, 305. I think I'm going to play that number today. I'm feeling lucky. You hear Pedro ghost talking? That's all he's been calling himself, Turler Brush. Because he knows <laughs> he's in the toilet today. Well, you know what it is. If you t if you talk to me or anyone from the lower deck, he uh, he doesn't. You become his enemy. Like basically, Richie does the same thing. You know, if he, he won't. You know, if these guys feel that uh, you're only allowed to talk to certain individuals, but I keep telling them, everyone's their own man out here. No one can influence someone else who to talk to. We're all our own station, our own men out here. We, we choose to speak whoever we want to, and that's it. That's the bottom line. I keep telling that to Pedro, man. You've got to stop looking for people to hold your hand. See, Richie, Richie misses uh, Pedro holding his hand. But I ended that when I uh, introduced the 305. I basically uh, severed the umbilical cord between those two boys. Oh shit, I hear someone out there. I, I thought I heard I thought I heard a super station out there in a the motor car. Hey two by four man, you just cleaned out my radio, Lord have mercy. Hey two by four. How's this Thunderbolt three oh five working? Hey uh, two by four man. I just wanna know how's this Thunderbolt working? A two by four, you're taking Pedro clean out of my radio. A two by four, you're taking Pedro right out of my radio. Shame on it. A two by four, you took Pedro out of my radio, man. Give Pedro his mic back. Yeah, Pedro got so humiliated that he calls himself Taylor Brush now. He changed his handles from 206 Small Fry to Taylor Brush. That's what happens when you go to Cracky's uh, hole in the floor. That's your radio turns out like that, man. You don't get out anymore. I hear plenty of unhappy customers. They're just too embarrassed to say so. 
they're embarrassed to say that they went to Richie's uh, for, uh, what do they call it, those uh, tuning sticks you made out of chopsticks? A two by four, you're taking them out of my radio. A two by four, you're killing these boys out here. A two by four, all I want to know, two by four, do you hear this Thunderbolt three hundred five working? A a uh, two by four, is this Thunderbolt three hundred five working? Break it. Yeah, a two by four. I think you need to school these boys out here how to operate a radio. A two by four. I think you need to take Pedro two hundred six and Crackhead one two seven to school, man. You need to educate those boys on how to operate their radios because you're cleaning them right out. You're like Mr. Clean right now, two by four. You better educate those boys how to operate the radio because those boys are getting smashed. You could check out my morning gate and uh, that will reflect everything. Yeah, Pedro will never reveal where he's really at. He always says he's in Newark. But I, he got busted in uh, Metropolitan in Brooklyn, in Staten Island, Bayonne. He's always at different locations where he can get the highest point or near the waterfront. See, Pedro will never reveal where he's really at. He'll never pan the camera. <laughs> Roger that. They're just mad at you. Hey, yeah, two by four. They're just mad. They're envious that you have a good sound of station. Those boys are just jealous. <coughs> yeah, who's calling Enforcer? Who's calling? Yeah, I got a whole lot of boys plugging my ears out there. Whoever was calling me, I got a whole lot of mud ducks plugging my ears right about now. It's getting rough out here. <coughs> wow, I tell you, man, two by four was doing so 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 big of a carry in Richie's radio. He thought he was in Brooklyn. That's funny. Anyway, I got to get out of here. I got to go. I got to go. I'm going to say good morning. This is the end of the uh, Enforcer 250 morning show. If you enjoy the show, just check me out on YouTube. Just type in Enforcer Space 250, Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., excluding weekends, holidays, and vacation. Sit back, enjoy. Truth and justice at its best. Sit back, have a pop, uh, you know, have some popcorn, uh, have uh, whatever you fancy, java, soda, a beer, whatever you fancy, but don't despair, because 250 is always out there, or oh, my little Thunderbolt 305. Until next time, enforce a 250 somewhere on the lower deck, and I just got down. <coughs> Roger that, a 2x4, uh, man. A 2x4, I say it. 
and I say it, and I say it once again the way I hear it. Right about now, right about now, Mr. Mr. Uh, 2 by 4 is the king of the channel, man. All I hear is 2 by 4 I don't hear no one else. My video gates will reflect that. Just check out my gates, and you hear how, you hear how Mr. <laughs> 2 by 4 single-handedly just uh, takes over the airways, man. And there's a lot of mud ducks, man, trying to take 2 by 4 out. A lot of cheerleaders, but uh, they 2 by 4 man. I'm not hyping no one up. I just say it the way I hear it. Anyway, I got to get out of here. Enforcer 250. Everyone, have a good weekend. Drive safe and God bless and God bless America. 250. Enforcer just got down.